Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to a new fine edition of survival stories. Now check this out. You remember we did the auto chisel in the last episode and I said I'd fix it. I said I'd put it up in another place. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking? Oh, I love these little hologram things. And I managed to fit it within this area here uh, using the same technique. Same exact technique, in fact, as we said in the last episode. <laughs> uh, and also, also, I want to thank you, because we did reach our goal of 100 likes. Keep it up, guys. Uh, thank you so much. We've gone from, like, I remember we were saying 10 likes, it was 30, 50, up to 100. And sure, that you know, some haters will hate some discount, uh, dis discount, some discount, some, some fillet steak. No, some, uh, some haters will dislike, but whatever. I don't care about you dislikers. You, you, you be weird. Um, Alright, anyway. I asked in the last episode what you guys wanted me to work on. I felt uh, the need for... Ooh, I felt the need for some magic mods. Uh, and uh, the, the question was between Tomcraft and Botania... I got quite a few suggestions to do witchery, which is cool, but I think I'll keep that to the fan server because I feel that it's a, a multiplayer mod more than a single player one. Oh, look at this energy battery thing. It's pretty. I need to finish that though. Um, which brings me to we need to put up a charger here. Anyway, uh, magic mod. A and the, the, the final kind of votes I counted to be Botania. Uh, so later today, I think we'll we'll possibly scout a base location in Lanox, but let's let's today let's chill out. I want to do a little bit of spring cleaning. I want to fix a few more things uh, here. I want to do a few more things at the factory. You know, just little things. And the first thing I want to jump into straight away is to set up a charging station for Certus Quartz. We don't have that, and I thought that could be cool to do with you guys. So. First thing I want to find out, is this a, oops, is this an inventory that SFM can read? Probably, yes. That's very good, okay. Uh, which means that we could do something very cheesy and ch cheesy, cheesy and simple, right? We could do that, and then we could say, uh, do I have any Surtur's Quartz? Wow, I'm really low on this stuff. I've, I've messed up. I think I <laughs> accidentally put an export bus to a pulverizer and pulverized all my Sartus Quartz. That, my friends, is nothing that you want to do, because <laughs> our supplies ain't good. Anyway, let's put you in there and let's do some s real simple stuff here. Um, I'm gonna write some code. Let me do a little bit of coding. We're gonna say inventory iron chest if we have any um, charged Certus Quartz, and we're gonna say if we have 60, uh, 64 of that, uh, actually, do we want to have more at, at hand? No, let's do 64 for now. If, if that is false in the, in the iron chest, then go ahead and move, move some Certus Quartz, and I found out something very importante. Move that to up, hopefully, to the charger okay and then we want to output and this is what i found out this is what's important on the you have to put a whitelist here otherwise things get crazy so we're gonna put charge surtus quartz on the charge surtus quartz on the whitelist no sorry we're gonna put surtus quartz on the whitelist uh, so remember i put the input whitelist for surtus quartz crystal and you need to do the same for the output for some reason it's, it's super strange uh, I wonder where we input. We're gonna try with the upside of the of the of the charger here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. And we want to output to the charger, and this is inputting from the chest. I made a derp. Okay. Very good. So that's our condition. That should move them to the charger. Then, if I remember correctly, you have to output from the bottom. Which we, since we're using Steve's Factory Manager, don't have to worry about. So let's write some more here. Create an input then from the... Actually, that's going to be weird. Because we have the condition here. So we're going to create another input. That's going to say charger. It's going to say down. Uh-huh. 
How's your weekend, by the way? Are you having a good weekend? I hope that you are. Uh, we're gonna say whitelist charge Certus Quartz here. Boom. Aha. Uh -huh. I, yesterday, guys, I have to tell you this. Yesterday, I got a new car. I got, I have ordered it a few months ago and it arrived in the, in the dealer shop yesterday. Like a brand new car. I've never, ever had that before. And the feeling, mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, it's just amazing. I'm not a big car fan or anything like that. Not at all. Uh, and it's not not a fancy car or anything. It's a but but the feeling with a new car is just something else. I mean, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, okay, so let's do this. That should start moving it in there. We need power here as well. Tesseract, boom. Uh, I want to tell you another thing as well. I'm going to put up a new series on my channel that I've been thinking about for a while. Why you not connect? Oh, this guy needs an energy acceptor? Here, let's try... Let's just try this. Will you get powered now? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put up a new series on my channel. It's gonna be a... We're gonna need an energy acceptor, I can just feel it. It's gonna be a series that will... Um, do that. Are you good now? Uh, it's gonna be a tutorial series, or, or rather a... Kind of like creative series where I where I try out different things with SFM because I saw that a lot of people want to see that uh, and I have a few other builds that I want to share so I'm gonna put the series up I'm gonna call it the lab and basically I'm gonna go create in a creative world and build a lab and I think that will be pretty cool this here is working that's working here's what we can do to make it better let's build another charger oh I'm in sheep mode okay <laughs> I don't cheat see I think I, I was testing some things on the fan server earlier. Same pack and everything, so don't don't worry. I, I don't cheat. I apologize. Uh, I hate when that happens, though. It stresses me the crap out. Okay, so let's do... Um, this is really badly placed, but doesn't really matter because I'll move it later. Uh, do I have some inventory cable? Yes. Uh, but anyway, new car. Very happy about that. New series coming out. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be scheduled or anything, it's just gonna be whenever I have time to put out episodes. And uh, I hope that you will at least check it out and let me know what you think. Obviously it's, uh, it's, it's always interesting. I have a lot of new stuff coming to the channel now and you know, things are just happening. Uh, and you, as my super subscribers or super viewers, if you're not subscribed, which is weird, go ahead and click the sub button. But you as my super people, can I call you that? That sounds good, right? We're gonna name this variable Chargers. Uh, you should totally check it out and let me know what you think, is what I'm getting at. Okay, the only thing we should have to change here is the output. Instead of having that as the Charger, we're gonna put it to the variable. Again, that will now grab... Uh, <laughs> that will now uh, put it to all the Charger in a round robin fashion. Look at that. And that should have sped it up quite a bit. You good? Yes, you good. Does it pull it back before it's charged? I don't think so. No. No, that one charged up. That one charged up. Yes. This is working. So that's how you can do a charger thing to keep an inventory. I'm going to move this. Uh, but uh, that's the first thing that I needed. Uh, now, did I fully... Build this thing? Yes, okay. Let's, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the system eye. Another, another fun thing is that I will probably have an extra Survival Stories episode this week. Because I just have too many things that I want to get done. And two episodes a week ain't enough at the moment. I wonder where we can put this charging station. We're kind of running out of space. Oh, this place is beautiful though. You know what we should fix? I have an idea. I want to try something. Here's a crazy build. Uh, let's go upstairs to the cabling room and look at look at this. That's actually yeah, that's two disgusting bats. For me, bats are just you know a, a sign of the place being dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and do something crazy here. I tried a few episodes ago. I tried to uh, make a bat farm. And by having a certain amount of bats spawned in my world at all time, 
I was thinking that that would remove any new spawn possibilities. Turns out that the little bastards, <laughs> the little bastards, they despawn. So I got another idea. Check this out. We're gonna build a... How large do we want this room? One, two, three, four... Yeah, let's build a nine by nine. Why not? So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh-huh. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. No. Four. Damn it. And dang it. Let's put this back. I want to show you one thing at the factory later today as well. I hope I, I hope I have time to do all the things that I want to show you today. But I got some help. Let's just say it like that. I got some help, and it's on the whole spring cleaning um, fashion. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what we did later. I actually had someone join my single player series here. Uh, while I dig this out, why don't I say thank you for your submissions to Silicon Valley? I've been starting to get in some stuff. I've got a hospital in and some other very cool looking buildings. You guys are the best. You, truly, you guys are the best when it comes to like modern builds. Wow. I, sometimes I get ashamed. You know, I, I build and I think it's, you know, I think it's pretty. And then I see your guys' builds and wow. You've put in time and effort and oh. I feel that we've got a little bit of a fan server invitation coming up here pretty soon. Uh, so keep 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 shooting them my way. Hey, get out of here. Keep shooting them my way because it's it, no real time limit on it. It's it's whenever we get back to Silicon Valley and building that, that's when I'm I'm gonna start to pick the, your builds and try to be you know as detailed as possible. Okay, uh, one auto spawner will come down here. Then we're gonna need a Tesseract for power, for power. And I don't have a setup at the moment with Mob Essence, so... Do we have a drum? We have a lot of drums. <laughs> we have a lot of drums. There's one. That's a lot of goo in it. Okay, do you... No. We're gonna have to do something like that, and then do some fluid. Ender fluid. Wow, I do I do this episode a little bit different. Not a lot of cuts so far. I don't know. Are we up to 15 minutes or something like that? I'm I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I hope that you're and that you're enjoying it. Okay, so this is good. A, a simple mob spawner set up. Here's what we're gonna do though. We're gonna grab an anvil. Oh, I had one. Perfect. Perfect, Timo. Put that there. Grab some name tags that I hopefully have or one. You see what I'm doing now? Then I'm gonna use one of my 236 levels, mind you, and I'm gonna name a bat. Um, oh, but do I hate anyone? No, I don't. I love everyone. I love you all. Uh, what do we want to name it? Stupid bat. Stupid idiot bat. Yes, that's a good name. Uh, and then hopefully I do have some bats caught. Yes, we do. Look at this. Look at this disgusting thing. I've been trying to collect trophies, and what did I get? A disgusting bat trophy. Look at him. I guess we do need him. You know, we, we do need him for our collection, but it's still it's still disgusting. Uh, okay, so let's close this area. Boop boop. And let's release him and name him. Here's where I hope. Okay, okay, there we go. Stupid idiot bat. Spawn exact copies, yes. This is what I hope to do. I hope that these bats now will never despawn on me. And you know what? Do I have... Actually, let's do this quickly. And then let's grab some ethereal... Ethereal... Mm, ineffable is it's the name. Ineffable glass. Bats can't pass through, I can. Aha. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna wait for this thing to spawn in like 17, 18 of this. I think that's the mob cap for, for bats. Yeah. Let's fast forward a little bit here. Alright, I think... Oh, wow. Okay, yes. Let's break this now. <laughs> Stupid idiot bat. Hey! Oh, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so my theory here is that... And it may not work, but my theory is that these will never despawn. These will take up all the spawn cap... And I'm gonna make this room a little bit decent looking for these guys. I mean, they'll, they'll never get out of here, right? So, <laughs> we better. Should have done this first. Um, but yeah, my theory now is that these guys will take up all of the mob 
spawning possibilities for bats and thereby removing all of the bat oh the, i ain't gonna have enough i ain't gonna have enough yeah they will remove all of the bat possibilities for spawns around my world isn't that clever i hope hopefully they shouldn't despawn because they have the name tags but i'm not sure oh that was stupid oh no oh well oh well that that's okay did I just kill a bat with my equal trade wand? I think so. Yeah. And th this disgusting thing from witchery. That bat string or whatever it is. Okay, so this is good. We may install a light here. I don't know. That's fine. I, I just want to try that out and see if we one for once and for all can get rid of them stupid bats. Uh-huh. Okay, now we move... Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna kill off these bats, of course, manually, because they won't despawn until I leave the area. But now, I think we move over to the factory, um, and we do some work over there. Uh, later, I will fix the uh, charged... charge, sir? Oh, no, there's one more thing. There's one more thing I want to do here before we leave, and that is this thing here. So, I want to show you, this is actually pretty clever. Thank you very much to me. Um, what I've done here is that I've installed... Alright, I gave it I gave it like half an hour here now, and you know what? I think we freaking fixed it! Not a single bat have spawned up here, and check this out. You can't see nothing! Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Okay, so these... Haha! <laughs> I caught you finally, you stupid freaking idiots! Stupid idiot bat. Yep, that's their name. Can't argue with that. Okay. There's one more thing that I want to do over here, and then I have a thing that we want to do at the factory as well, uh, which we'll see if we have time to do. Okay, what do I want to do? Well, you've been following this series, right? You're a loyal, awesome person that loves survival stories. You love your survival stories action. And one thing that you know that I that I do is, obviously, I keep... I try to keep my... My, my storage system very, very efficient, which means that I will put, um, when we have 1.5 million apples, like we do, <laughs> I don't know why, we put them in a deep storage unit, because otherwise they're gonna take up 5 or 10 freaking drives, you know, the same goes for XP or berries and arrows, we just try to keep things efficient, that's why we have these deep storage unit boxes, uh, we also, all the, all the, uh, all the non-stackable items I keep in filing cabinets, advanced ones, and we did this way back in the factory, but thought I'd give you an update, I, I read it here, so basically these are hooked up on uh, storage, storage buses at 100 priority, so any non-stackable item will make their way over here. Ooh, I'm gonna take this by the way, I'm gonna show you something crazy in a second. Uh, do I have the last? I'll check later. Uh, <clears throat> So, that's all about efficiency. Now, sometimes, because my AE system hasn't always been correct about things, uh, some of the stuff will have ended up in the storage cells, even though they should be in the deep storage units. So, also, non-stackable items will have gone in here before I had the advanced filing cabinet. So, <clears throat> I want to take care of business. I want to see what items are not in deep storage units, but should be there. Meaning, what items do I have... Uh, a large amount of quantity on. Can I can I get back to the top? There we go. Uh, what items do I have a large amount of quantity on that are currently sitting and just, you know, blocking space on my storage drives, uh, but should be moved to the deep storage units? And I've got a pretty cool idea. Check me out. Check this out. We're going to come up here. We're going to take all of these cables that goes to the deep storage units, and we're going to install a little toggle bus back with the cable, and then we're going to put down a wireless receiver to this toggle bus um, and again frequency names come on stupid okay we're gonna call this frequency I don't know stupid uh, 540 I'm gonna sometime I'm gonna miss and take one that I've already taken and frequency name uh, DSU power set name okay 540 now that's all good we're gonna do the same for all of these cables and currently we only have three so break you, install the toggle, uh, what are they called? Toggle bus, and then back with a cable. And then a wireless receiver goes there. Remember the block space? We talked about this in the last episode, or the one before. Block space is there, so don't put it here. 
even though it looks like it, that would work. Oops. And actually, I, I'd go. I'll, I'll go and check the yellow one if I did the right one there. So DSU power there, and the last one I'm gonna install over here. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, did I put this one in the correct place? Yes, I did. I'm so pro, I tell you. Okay, now what I want to do is install. Do we have any space here? Uh, uh, not really. We do have this thing here. Yeah, let's break you and you. And let's put... Oh, this is a painted glowstone block? Okay, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> for now, let's just do this and then install a wireless transmitter. You know what I'm thinking here, right? We're gonna put you there and then where's my screw? Where be my screw? I don't think we'll have time for the factory today, in fact. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll save that, as I said. Or did I say that there would be an extra episode of Survival Stories this week? I'm gonna record back to back here because I got a lot of recording time and I've got a lot of ideas. Boop boop, plop that like so. DSU power and red alloy thingamajingy. Boom. Do that, okay. And then a lever. Oh, I do have levers. For once I have levers, okay. So now, if that one is down, if that one is powered like it is now, we should have all the DSUs connected, right? Or is it already inverted? Hmm. No, there we go. Everyone turn on. You see the cables? Very cool. So now our system looks like normal. We have all of this stuff, 75 million. However, flip this. And this is our system without the storage drives. And here is, here's, this is exactly why I felt like we need to do this. We have 2 million stone. How much is that? Did we have 4 million in total? Watch it update here. We have 2 million freaking stone taking up storage space on disk drives. That is insane. Yeah, look at that. Half our stone is actually hanging out on our disk drive. So we can easily free up some space here. Let me put together a contraption that will do exactly that. That will empty the system um, and rerun rerun certain items. I um, Give me a second. I'll build this off camera and explain it. All right, so... Let's put this back there. Um, here's what I want to show you. The MEIO port is an amazing block. I've been debating where to put this and I think right there looks pretty cool. Uh, can I grab a quarried stone? Put it there. Okay. So this block here is very, 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 very cool. Now one of the issues that I saw in my system with the flickering, flickering lever thing. Let me just check one thing here. I have my stone in here. Yes, okay. Um, <clears throat> now, if we flick the lever again, flip flip the lever, yeah. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that I have 674,000 bones in the system, right? And if we turn the DSUs back, it's still going to be 0.6. I know it's not recharged here, but it's still going to be 0.6 million, which is a crazy amount to keep on my drive. So I started to take out a few there and just to check them over here. I'll have to move this. Actually, this is... Hmm. Do I want this thing here over at the dashboard thing in my jingy? For now, let's put it here. So an Emmy in th uh, an Emmy chest. I can put a drive in here. Take a look. And I see 27,000 bones is what's filling up this uh, storage cell. And then I kept doing this and I found that, yep, <laughs> the bones are everywhere in my system. And they're kind of currently clogging up. So I checked my DSU situation. Turns out I don't have a bone one. So I put up a new one here. It's currently empty, um, but I formatted it to bones, and the priority of this bad boy, 1,000. Okay? You follow me? So now, check this out. The MEIO port thingy block over here. I'll take a storage drive where we know that we have bones. Just double check again. Boom. 30,000 bones, right? We'll plop that out. We'll take this, and we'll put it in this guy here, and I believe... We can install acceleration cards? Yes. What this will do is that it will empty everything on the drive and put it back into my ME system. Which means, since we have highest priority over here, that means that the bones should have gone in here. Look at that, 30,000 bones, just like that. Ain't that beautiful? Uh, it's of course a little bit of a work situation here where I have to go through all my drives and do this, but, long story short, I'll have a cleaned up AE system where all of the things, not just the bones, everything, will be kind of re 
inserted into my system and I I have to be careful so I have to go back and forth here and, and put them back into the drive so I have a little bit of a system here but that's pretty cool that's what I want to show you now I don't think we'll we'll have time for the factory today so we will head we'll check out Lanox we'll, we'll scout for location for our Botania um, uh, what should I call it Botania base I guess yeah Botania build I want to call it Botania build because I got some pretty cool things plan for that base that I I'm I'm so sure that you guys will love this build uh, but before I go there let me show you something I promised in the pack update 2.4 of survival stories I installed cosmetic armor it was suggested to me by one of you and this is a pretty cool mod um, by default it's the C button on your keyboard brings up this little screen here and you can see I have a gold armor here uh, did I just did I just manage to get shoes on my freaking chest plate Anyway, what this mod does is simply adds an ability to have a cosmetic armor. Look at me! Do I have a crimson shirt? Please let me have a crimson shirt. I do! Oh my goodness, I have two. Let's, let's have a look, see. What is the coolest one? See? Boom. Oh, ho, 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 ho. is this how we look now? We still got the NRIO stuff though, all the benefits from it. Wow. I love this mod, su mod suggestion. I am ever so grateful to the one who suggested it, whom I can't remember the name of. Do we do this or do we do the other? I don't know. I think I'll do this for now. Yeah, look at us. Oh, we, we prepared for Lanox for sure. I actually, you know what I want to find out? Let's have some fun here. Do we have, oh no. I was hoping we had this thing, the Crimson Cult Hood. That would be superbly cool. Anyway, anyway. Now, let me get ready here, let me empty the rest of my system, uh, or empty the rest of my system, let me rerun all of the drives here to make sure it's efficient. Oh goodness, come on now. Uh, and I'll meet you over at Lanox and we'll scout a base. I checked the video time, we got about three minutes or so, uh, but we'll manage. Oh, this place is so pretty. It's not pretty, it's purdy. P-U-R-D-Y Look at that tower. I did some work actually on the Tomcraft tower. This was like a month ago, but I never showed it to you because a lot of you were so bored with Lanox, so I just went, you know, did something else. So what I did was that I cut the head. No. Here, reload. Reload. Oh, wait. F3A. There. Beautiful. Okay, so what I did was that I added this. Check that out. I did a little bit of a pattern work and I think you, you'll have to let me know, but I think this this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I love the whole... I know we use this now at the lab, but uh, I love the whole magenta chiseled glass. Why did I use carpenter blocks here oh it's because i wanted it to be half slabs right yes i remember and on the inside look at that i missed this tomcraft tower haven't been here in so long it is truly beautiful uh there's a lot of work still to do obviously with it but anyway botania place i've actually you know what i think the location for the botania tower is going to be right there we need a greener area then the sacred springs and I think this forest biome over here will do the trick and I want a hill as well like this I think um, <laughs> what, what am I building maybe good for you to know if you're gonna have input on this area well you know what I think I'll do I will leave it hanging what I'm gonna build and that's a hint for you right there. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to fit the theme of Botania. This much I promise you. And I th actually think this hill is going to do a pretty awesome job with it. I'm going to have to terraform it a little bit. Like, do I have my shovel? Do I have... Wait. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. You probably saw it right off the bat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a few of these things down. I'm gonna have to do a lot of tree shopping. Do I have my lumber axe? You love your, you gotta love your lumber axe. Your lumber axes. Not lumber, lumber. 
Yeah, but I'm gonna go and do a little bit of this action here and I'm gonna go prepare this area. Um, and as I said, as I've said many times, there will be an extra survival stories episode out uh, that I probably will record before I get to read your comments. I don't know yet though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very just super excited to get this project started. I'm super excited to do like a million things here. And uh, I hope that you guys are, are excited for a little bit of an extra episodes. Um, but that's gonna do it for this episode. And uh, I'll, yeah, as I said, I'll leave it hanging with you what the base is gonna be. Check back next time to find the, out the answer, right? And uh, <clears throat> I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to hit the like button down below. I hope you have a fantastic Saturday evening or any evening or day or morning or whenever you're watching this as always now make sure take care of your loved ones and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>